Sequel to a report released by the Nigerian Investment Promotion Commission on March the 4th, 2021, showing that Nigeria received pledges of $8.4 billion in manufacturing, construction and other critical sectors. Experts are looking to government to design projects and strategies to woo domestic investors and improve local content. The report indicates that of the $5.4 billion announced by foreign investors, $1.04 billion was expected from Morocco, $240 million from the United Kingdom, and $80 million from the United States, while the lion's share of $3.7 billion announcements were said to be from undisclosed investors. This data shows a gradual decline in international confidence in Nigeria when compared to 2019 and 2020. If our share of foreign direct investment should be equal to our population, then we need to increase our foreign share of foreign direct investment by a quantum of three. So we are not there yet, but we are moving in that direction. Hopefully, something dramatic may happen. A key destination for FDI, and, and, and this, is, uh, this is due to a couple of, re of reasons. One of them is the population and also the commodity. Um, the commo it's a market for, in terms when you look at uh, the economic size of the country um, and also the, the, the rich resources that the country has and the great potential in sectors like infrastructure, energy, so great potentials where green build projects um, and margins and acquisition that investments are always interested in. Others believe it's important that Nigeria begins to move away from controlled financial autonomy as they push for cordial relationship between federal and state governments. Investment is about confidence. So we need to look at the key factors driving confidence of investors. And this confidence issue applies both to foreign investors and to domestic investors. And there are so many, there are quite a number of factors, you know, that drive investors' confidence. The, the, the basic thing is about the perception of risk in an environment, because investment is about risk. Investment is also about comparing the risk to the returns that you get from the investment. The structure of the banking industry in Nigeria is focused on those that have rather than those who are members of the population. So a lot more work has to go into financial inclusion and drawing the cash holdings that are currently held outside the bank's banking system into the banking system. That would be a major contributor to the, the, the reduction of interest rates, which is one of the things that is holding back investment into Nigeria. These suggestions, in addition to a call for adequate government policies, many believe it will propel foreign direct investment and address the economic difficulties.